Okay, the following is a video on 11.2 um, notes. Uh, I had to redo these because I did give you the wrong formula. So uh, let's go ahead and go through this with the correct formulas. Um, uh, this is a section over areas of trapezoids, rhombi, and kites. So let's start with the formula for a trapezoid. This is a trapezoid right here. Um, what we have is the formula area is equal to the height of the trapezoid divided by 2 times the first base plus the second base. Okay, now let's label what those values are here. Uh, the distance from here to here is, we'll call that B sub 1, okay, and we'll call this B sub 2. Uh, it doesn't really matter which ones you use because you're adding them, so I may call this B2 and call this B1, doesn't really matter. Okay, the other thing is that the distance from the very, very top of my trapezoid to the bottom is my height. Okay, so uh, I know that my area is equal to, now our height is what? What is that? Four. Um, our B sub 1 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, and B sub 2 is equal to 3. So if I plug these values in into my formula, I get 4 over 2 times B sub 1, which is 6, plus B sub 2, which is 3. And if I evaluate this, then I get 2 times 6 plus 3, which is 9, which gives me a total area of 18. And we call that units squared. Okay, we got to put a label on that. All right, and make sure we, we're, we know that we're, we have an area. Okay. Um, now, for the next one, um, the area of a rhombus, this is a rhombus, all of my sides are congruent. Um, yeah, what we want to do is we want to analyze the, um, the diagonals of a rhombus. Okay, so I know that this length here, this diagonal from this point to this point, we'll call that D sub 1, okay? And this length from here to here, that's my second diagonal, we'll call that D sub 2. Now the formula that we have for the area of a rhombus is D sub 1 times D sub 2 divided by 2, okay? Now my first diagonal has a length of 4, and my second diagonal has a length of 6. So my area is equal to 4 times 6 divided by 2. So my area is an area of 24 divided by 2, which gives me 12, and we call that units squared, and that's my area for that. Okay. Uh, my last one over here, this is a kite. Now, um, a kite, we actually use the same formula that we do for a rhombus, all right, so I'm going to say that area is equal to D sub 1 times D sub 2 divided by 2. Um, I'm going to label this diagonal as D sub 1. I'm going to label this diagonal as D sub 2. Okay. And so I end up getting that D sub 1 is equal to 4 units. And I know that D sub 2 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. So let's go ahead and plug those in. Now I get an area of 4 times 5 divided by 2. So I get an area of 20 divided by 2, and 20 over 2 just gives me 10. So my area is 10 units squared. Okay. So we got to make sure that we uh, make sure we take those and divide it by 2. That was where I made my mistake on the first one. I didn't have divided by 2. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at some practice problems and see what we can do here. Um, and number one, it wants us to find the area of this trapezoid. Well, I'm going to go ahead. First thing I want to do is I want to write out my formula and say that I'm taking the height divided by 2 times B sub 1 plus B sub 2. Um, now, I'm going to label this B sub 1. We'll call this B sub 2. Again, it doesn't matter which ones we call these as long as we call them the base. And then this is my height. Okay, so I know that my height is equal to 10. I know B sub 1 is equal to 15, and I know that B sub 2 is equal to 6. Uh, these are all meters. We'll put the meters in later. Uh, so my area is equal to my height, which is 10 meters, divided by 2, times the sum of my bases. So I'm going to take 15 uh, plus 6. 
So I end up getting that the area is 5 times 21, which ends up giving me, what is that, 105 meters squared. Got to make sure we put the labels on. Okay. Um, on the next one, number two, all right, um, remember we have our formula, area is equal to diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2. So uh, my diagonal 1, we can call this diagonal 1, and we can call this value diagonal 2. So I know that diagonal 1 is equal to 12 millimeters, okay, and I know that diagonal 2 is equal to 14 millimeters. Okay, so my area here is just going to be uh, 12 times 14, and then divide that by 2. Okay, and we can do this a number of ways. Um, wh one out how I would do it if I was doing it by hand, I would divide out the 14 and the 2 to give me 7. So I would take 12 times 7, which ends up giving me 84 millimeters squared. Okay, that's how I do that one. So however you want to do it, but uh, just got to make sure we use the right formula. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the next one. Now, the next one, um, we don't really know the whole diagonals. We're just given bits and pieces. Now, I know that this length from here to here is 8 feet, and that's congruent to this. So this is 8 feet. Okay. Um, I know that this length here is 5, and it's congruent to this length, and so then this has to be 5. All right. So if I call this, say, diagonal 1 and call this diagonal 2, I know that diagonal 1 is equal to 10. 5 plus 5 gives me 10 feet. Okay, and I know that diagonal 2 is going to give me 16 feet. All right. Um, so uh, my formula for the area of this, and this is a, a, a rhombus, is um, diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2. Okay, and if I plug in my values, I get 10 divided by 2. I'm sorry, 10 times 16 divided by 2. Now, if I were to do this um, by hand, okay, I would divide out the 16 and the 2 first. So I would get 10 times 8. 16 over 2 gives me 8. And then 10 times 8 is just going to give me 80. Now, we got to put a label on this, and this is in feet squared. Okay. So this is pretty much just plug and shove. Okay. It's nothing too terrible. All right. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at number four. Uh, number four says a trapezoid has a base length of six. Okay. And wait, hold on. Let me make sure this looks reasonable. Um, this is six centimeters um, and 15 centimeters. Uh, we have an area. Area is equal to 136.5 square centimeters. What is the height of the trapezoid? Well, that's what we got to figure out here, our height. Okay, now what we need to use is we need to use our formula for the area of a trapezoid because that's what we're given. So I know that area is equal to the height divided by 2 times b sub 1 plus b sub 2. Now I'm going to call this b sub 1, call this b sub 2. So let's just plug in the values that we have. Now my area equals 136.5. So I'm going to replace my a with 136.5. Set that equal to h over 2 times the quantity uh, b sub 1, which is 15, and then b sub 2, which is 6. All right, so I get 136.5 is equal to the height divided by 2 times, uh, that's 21. Okay, so if I get this, if I take 136.5, that's equal to... I can write this as 21 times h all divided by 2. Okay, and there's a number of ways to solve this. I'm going to go ahead and divide 21 and 2. So I get 136.5 is equal to uh, 21 over 2 gives me, what is that, 10.5 times my height. So now I just need to divide both sides by 10.5 and by 10.5. So the 10.5s divide out. And I'm left with h is equal to 136.5. So let me, 136.5 divided by 10.5 gives me 13. My height is 13 centimeters. Okay, so a little bit of algebra here. We just got to make sure that we, uh, 
identify what we have, identify what we're trying to solve for, plug in our values into the formula. It should leave us with just one value, and then we can solve from there. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Um, on number five, it says one diagonal of the kite is four times as long as the other diagonal. So I'll call this diagonal one. I'll call this diagonal, that looks awful. Um, called the, come on now, straight line going, there we go. Um, call this diagonal two. All right, we'll call this one diagonal one. We know that one of the diagonals is four times as long as the other diagonal. So I'm going to go ahead and call diagonal one, call this x, and call diagonal two four times x. It's four times as large as this, okay? Uh, it says the area of the kite is 72 square meters. So if we take, I know 72 is equal to the area. So I know this, that my formula is area is d sub 1 times d sub 2 divided by 2. So my area is 72. I'm going to plug that in for A. Um, and I'm going to set up d sub 1 as x and then d sub 2 as 4 times x all over 2. Okay, there's a number of ways you can solve this and simplify it. Um, I'll go ahead and do what I think is right. Um, but I'm going to do 72 is equal to... Now, guys, I can rearrange my numerator in any way that I want. And I'm going to rearrange that as 4 times x times x divided by 2. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and do 72 is equal to 4 times x squared divided by 2. Now, the 4 and the 2 can divide out, okay? Because I'm multiplying, those can divide. So I've got 72 is equal to 2x squared, all right? Now, I'm going to divide both sides by 2, both sides by 2, and I get that 36 is equal to x squared. Now, from here, I can take the square root of both sides, and I get that x is equal to essentially plus or minus 6, okay? But because we're dealing with lengths, we know x is a distance, is a distance. All right, so we have to choose the positive x value. So x is equal to 6. So my diagonal 1, uh, let's go back up. Um, diagonal 1 was just x, so that's going to be 6. And then diagonal 2 is going to be 6 times 4, which gives me 24. And this is centimeters, I believe. Oh, meters. 24 meters and 6 meters. Okay, and that's those are the answers that we're looking for. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the last one. Okay, we know that the height of the trapezoid is 24 meters, so let's go ahead and put that in there, that this height is equal to 24 meters. Okay, the base of 4 meters. Okay, and we know that the area is 264. Now, guys, I'm getting all this just from the reading, okay? Uh, on these last three, you're going to have to draw those generic pictures for those figures for a trapezoid, a rhombi, and a kite. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and label this. The only value that I don't know is my B sub 2 value, okay? Now, I need to use my formula for a trapezoid, and that's area is equal to the height divided by 2 times the sum of the bases, so B sub 1 plus B sub 2. Okay, so my area is 264, is equal to the height, which is 24, divided by 2, times B sub 1, hold on, which is 4, plus b sub 2, okay? Now, what I can do here is I get 264 is equal to 12 times 4 plus b sub 2, okay? I can distribute this 4, and I get 264 is equal to 48 plus 12 times b sub 2, okay? And so now I'm going to subtract 48 from both sides, All right? So I don't want to screw this up, 264 minus 48, gives me 216. So I get 216 is equal to 12 times b sub 2. Okay, I'm going to divide both sides by 12, get solve for b sub 2. And so if I divide that by 12, I end up getting that b sub 2 is equal to 18. And this is 18 meters. Okay, um, I hope all this makes sense a lot. Again, guys, we're just using formulas here. So these are things that I uh, believe that you can do uh, without uh, much trouble at all. So get started in your homework.